You guys are coming with me on a very, very special episode. As a designer, people ask me all the time, where do you get your inspiration? The truth is, inspiration can strike at any time and it can come from just about anywhere. From nature, to fashion, a great film, even what you had for breakfast, and just about anything else. For me, one of my biggest sources of inspiration is travel. We recently teamed up with the new owners of Creekside Whistler. If you're not familiar with Creekside, it's one of the three neighborhoods at the Whistler Black Home Ski Resort. Creekside is known as the original Whistler because in 1965, it was home to the first lifts. Since then, Whistler Black Hole Mountain has grown to over 8,000 acres of skiable terrain. It has 36 ski lifts, a world famous peak to peak gondola, and at its highest point, Blackholm is over 5,000 feet. It's no wonder that Whistler Blackholm became home to the 2010 Winter Olympics. Now I'm just describing winter at the mountain, but in the summer, there's also hiking, mountain biking, there's spas, restaurants, and so many more activities. With all that said, Creekside has become a mecca for the ski and outdoor community. And myself, along with the House of Bond team, are handling the interior design for a few very special restaurant projects. Just getting ready for a five o'clock meeting. We've got a few new restaurant projects that we're working on in Whistler. So we're just all set up for this meeting. We've got some egg tarts and goodies to keep our sugar levels up because it's Friday afternoon. 88 Mekong is a Thai Vietnamese restaurant, which if you ask me, is the perfect concept to go into Creekside Village. For this restaurant, we just couldn't find the right inspiration in Vancouver. Not the perfect inspiration anyways. So with that said, we are headed to Bangkok, Thailand. Here we are in Bangkok. Research, to get inspired, to get plugged into design. This is the kind of place you want to shop at as a designer. If this is not design eye candy, I don't know what would be. That's what she said. That's exactly what it's all about though. Food, of course, and culture. Mmm. <laughs> you guys ever seen cotton candy that's like this before? Look at this. <laughs> Rainbow cotton candy. <gasps> to match our friend. <laughs> it's gonna be a feast for the eyes and for all of our senses. And to bring all that back with us, back to the shop at House of Bond so we can design the perfect restaurant. So we've got the whole gang here. We've got little D who's behind the camera this time. We've got my husband Chris, who is the supporter of all of the chaos. Paula, House of Bond senior designer, is also here doing research with us. We have Louise, the project manager for this entire project. Our client is going to join with us soon. And we have Tino and Dylan, who are also the executive chefs on this amazing project and you guys are famous makeup artists hence the and pink hair fashion stylists oh and fashion stylists yes, so if you want to follow them on instagram what's your instagram handle Pase Panjang Boy. Pase Wait. Panjang Boy. <laughs> we'll write that on the screen so that you guys can find them <laughs>
Did you notice too when you get off the elevator, there's like that little station mm -hmm. with the phone and the flower arrangement and then it's just lit from above? It's so cool. Bright and early, it's 7 a.m. in Bangkok. We got in very, very late last night and checked into our hotel about 2 a.m. Bangkok time. And I just have to show you guys this view because this is on another level. I'm just standing outside on an outdoor terrace. It's beautifully manicured. You can see Bangkok in the distance. The sun is just coming up and the pool is over here just on the left side. going because you guys always ask this dress is a light cotton dress <laughs> it's from Lulu's it was a last minute addition to my suitcase but I'm so happy I brought it because it's super lightweight and it just <laughs> sucks all the sweat off your body you guys won't even notice that I'm sweating all day so I'm really happy that I brought this I've got my Birkenstocks with the gold buckles I love these these are obviously for optimal comfort and I'm rocking my backpack by Tory Burch so I've got sunscreen and you know, all the little extras that I'm gonna need, my little sweat towels back there, and my sunglasses by Givenchy. Okay, let's go. time to Bangkok. Oh, you, I think the spirit of Bangkok will get to you. The spirit the of Bangkok? Yeah. yeah. The, the, the smell, the laughter, the, the good vibes. You're it's gonna fun. be giving us lots of advice on where to shop, what to eat. Uh, we will be doing that, but I'll be watching you and learning from you because I've seen what you're capable of doing and I love it. Okay, there you go. So we're, we're mutually learning from each other. Awesome. Yeah, most importantly, welcome to Bangkok. Welcome to <laughs> Thailand. <laughs> Want to be experiencing the streets of Bangkok. We're in an area called Warehouse 30. Always looking for design inspiration. Never know when inspiration is gonna happen, it just happens, and so you always have to be on alert. Lots of photos, keep your eyes open, your ears open, nose open, and inspiration will happen. So that store was a very cool experience. I feel like we're just starting to get into our Thai vibe. <laughs> yeah, our Thai vibe. It's very fresh, it's a little bit savory. It has a little bit of sweetness on top and then it's very crunchy because of the way that it's fried. It's a water chestnut. Way better filter for when you're doing that research 
You know what you want to keep and what you want to eliminate. and then create something that's new and interesting. How does House of Bon put our own stamp on something that's Thai or Vietnamese? That's the trick. It is day two of our Bangkok trip. It's a gorgeous Saturday. I am wearing a really simple dress from Selfie Leslie, an online store. It's very comfortable, very breathable, very movable, so it's gonna be perfect for walking around the city today. I've got some very, very comfortable sandals from Billabong, but in the event that I need more of a sneaker, I've got my Nikes with me and a hat for a little sun protection. So I'm ready to go. We are kicking off the day today at Chattachak Market, which is the biggest market in all of Thailand. This market is known for having over 15,000 stalls and 11,000 vendors. So there's tons to see here. Every single store or vendor, they're all different. There's a lot of variety here. Clothing, food, jewelry, books. There's literally everything here. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oof, it's warm. Are you ready? Ready. I am ready, Tino. You know what? I am. You have to see the beauty of Thailand. I love it. Okay. Of Thailand, all home and decor stuff. I love these baskets. These are great. Today is all about being laser focused and really zeroing in on different design ideas. And I get to do this with my clients. So what I'm also excited about is really getting into my client's head, really reading her, understanding what she likes, what she doesn't like, how she reacts to things. We could do something more custom. Mm -hmm. It's all muted, but and then the idea of like filling these with the colors. Yeah. So what's starting to transpire is this palette of natural wood, natural woven materials. I'm getting the sense that our client really likes things in the, the raw state. I'm just telling you what I like. Yes. I'm not going to put it all. No. We're going to filter through all these ideas. Must-haves, maybes. Yes. Absolutely nots. I like that. Challenge. Uh -huh. Challenge will challenge me always. Okay. Well, that's good. We want to introduce a completely different space plan for E8 Mekong. Okay. <laughs> I'm all for that. Okay, Ready for the challenge. Okay, it's good. Going up against Karen, get my <laughs> boxing gloves <up>. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, no. It's good. It's good, it is good. You want that, right? It's like a little bit of healthy disagreement is good. Yes. Oh, the lights, very cool. I think we should design our own. Like, I think we should just create our own, for sure. Custom all the way. Isn't that what House of Bond does? Yes, custom all the way. Okay, so we're taking a little break and eating some food at the market. We've got a tomato and papaya salad, some fried chicken wings, some other things that I don't recognize. We've got some cold water, which is great. Maybe 
bit. A tiny bit? Okay. Yeah, I'll be your stylist. Okay, be my stylist. Look at these ones. <laughs> this Better? Yeah. This oh yeah, oh my god, that's great. This is awesome. I would totally wear these. This is so amazing. Oh my god, that's so you. That's so you. Oh my god, that's like You told me to get that. This is very good. You don't like these? No. 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 <laughs> Definitive, I like that. All right. Oh, wow. Jeez. It's good that he's on it. <laughs> Those are kind of awesome. And now we are stopping off at a huge vintage warehouse called papaya. I'm sure we would need a whole nother day just to walk through this place, but we've only got half an hour because we want to go for cocktails before the sun sets and enjoy a little bit of Bangkok. So we're going to do this quick. This is incredible. I've never in my entire life been vintage shopping in a store like this before. Now walking through a place like this, this is the kind of place you want to shop at as a designer. I mean, this is just full of interesting things. These tables with all this tile on it is so 70s. It's just a designer's dream in here. So I know she really likes these bistro chairs. Does she? Yeah. I love these too. There's three more downstairs. This is overwhelming. There's so much to look at. We're just nerding out on all this stuff right now. And the thing is, they just don't make pottery like this anymore. Amber vase, how cool is this? So 70s, I love this. I would take this back with me if I was going home right away, but I'm not. I'm continuing on to Vietnam and I don't want to lug this stuff in my suitcase. The thing is, we're at such early stages of research for the restaurant we're really at the sort of like collecting ideas yeah. stage. It's not as though we're at the very end and we're actually physically buying the chairs or buying tabletop items, but we know that this is all here. So as we're putting the design together, we'll be able to kind of like go, oh, remember that? So when you find vintage pieces, you're essentially incorporating that little piece of story and history into your space. I think it gives a space a sense of character that you can't get from always doing things new and custom. By incorporating vintage pieces, you're automatically touching on a sense of nostalgia. Like a piece from the 70s or the 80s or the 50s, they immediately recognize that and it evokes a feeling in them when they do recognize it. Like, look at these old TVs. Oh my God, people used to watch TV on these. That's why vintage is so important. The sun has set and we are arriving at the CM Hotel. This hotel has been highly recommended by our client. She really wanted us to get a sense of the vibe at this hotel. As we're walking in, you can feel already that this is super luxe. There's sort of this mix of modern and antique pieces of furniture, and there's tons of greenery. So our itinerary continues with a boat ride. Cocktails Cheers. in hand. In Bangkok. What's going on with my life right now? I'm not really sure, but I'm just going with it. Thank you. We're having delicious cocktails on a boat in Bangkok. It's Saturday night. <laughs> Woo! <Cheers. laughs> to Bangkok. To Bangkok. To Bangkok. Beautiful 
night. It is still super, super warm, and it's so cool to be in such an urban city where you can see all of these lights and all of these incredible buildings and all this amazing architecture. I feel so at home here. I'm just having a moment when it's amazing what can happen when you manifest great things in your life. Are you seeing the size of these palms? Oh my God, this is so cool. This is so cool. We're gonna enjoy our last night while these ladies are in Bangkok, right? <laughs> it's a reason to celebrate. Yes. I feel like we are in a completely different world. If this is not design eye candy, I don't know what would be. was constantly thinking about color. Like we could not not have color. Yeah. That it would be rustic with like texture, but then there would be color that was layered in. Mm -hmm. The only thing that throws me is that she constantly says, mute it. Yeah. Mute it, I want this to be brown. Wood on wood on wood, not really any color. You really like that idea. Let's really definitely like keep that, that one. I do like this a lot as the floor. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. I don't like this one though. I'm gonna take this one out. Okay. Do you like this one? We love it. There's you do? One. What yeah. do you love about it? I just like the mixed up aspect of it. I like just like some random. I do like that. I see what you mean when you say you like the cabinet. Mm -hmm. It does kind of have like mm -hmm. this vibe. I really like the idea of this too. This is what you see everywhere in Vietnam, everywhere. Like you actually see this more than you see this. Mm -hmm. You don't, this, the only time you see this is when you go to a cafe or a restaurant that's kind of westernized. Yeah, and that costs lots of money. <laughs> I think too, if we were to develop this idea, I don't think they would be as low they couldn't be. I think they would be, yeah, I think they would be probably regular height stool. We would do a play on this. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and follow the hashtag That's What She Said on social media to watch these projects unfold. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and until next time, bye for now.